Welcome to the Bloodstock Show, where I am in Newmarket at Tattersall's because it is finally time for the Tattersall's Book One Yearling Sale. Now, many of you will know that this is the place buyers come to from all around the world to buy the very best yearlings on offer in the open market. The list of Group One winners and their relations going through this ring behind me is absolutely endless. It's a three day sale, and I'm here on the Monday before it all kicks off, and I'm going to go meet some of those blue blooded individuals. This is lot 77, consigned by Watership Down Stud. He's a bay colt. He is by none other than Super Sire Dubawi, and he is out of none other than the beautiful race mare of the highest quality, the Fugue. Another top class lot that's on offer this week that I wanted you guys to be able to see is lot 208 behind me. This is a Sayuni Colt, but crucially, it's a half brother to the 2000 Guineas winner, Magna Grisha. Now, one of the horses of the season has been the superstar sprinter Batash, and behind me, this filly here, this is Batash's half-sister by Dark Angel and out of the same dam, Anna Law. She looks very similar to him and she's sure to be so popular when she goes through the ring later in the week. The sale got underway and it was day one that provided the eventual sale topper. As lot 148 came into the ring, it was clear that the Colt, a Dubawi half-brother to the Godolphin-owned Group 1 winner Barney Roy was going to be popular with racing superpower owners and the bidding soon reached the 2 million guineas mark as Coolmore and Godolphin went head-to-head. -head. 2 million. 2 million three. 2 million four, 2 million five. 2 five bid now. Never easy to buy the good ones. It's your turn again, men. 3 million two. Poetry in motion at three million two. Anybody else want in here now? Don't be shy at three million two, but I'm going to sell them outside now. At three, yes, yes, three million four. Little gap beginning to appear again. And we've been good at filling it so far, men. At three million six, but I'm going to sell them down below. And in fairness, they bid me well. At three million six, I'm going to sell them here. The crack in Dubai. Last call. Is that him on the phone? Anthony Stroud, sir. Thank you very much indeed, and the very best of luck. We knew he's a lovely horse, but you don't expect that sort of figure when you go in there. So it's it, it's amazing. I'm 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 blown away. And at what point did you think, OK, this could be something special now? Because at around 900,000, I thought he was stalling, but he really took off after that. <sighs> to be honest with you, when we got up around the million, I was, I was quite satisfied. And, 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 and the rest was just a, a, an amazing experience to, to just stand there and, and, and watch those figures go up. Um, you know, the very best of luck to Darley and, and all the collect connections who, who, will, um, who have bought him. And we're very grateful, very thankful to Sheikh Mohammed and his team. Um, I, I think Coolmore were the underbidders, so I mean, we're very, you know, it, it, it's, it's what every vendor, uh, every consigner dreams of to get um, Darley and Coolmore um, on one. <laughs> this theme continued throughout the whole week, as Anthony Stroud, bidding on behalf of Godolphin's operation, continued to take on MV Magna's Coolmore team as they kept being attracted to the same yearlings. And this rule applied as Lot 288 came into the ring a Frankel half-brother to the Derby and Art de Triomphe winner, Golden Horn. Two million four, a two million four is got, but a two million four goes, yeah, two million five, two million seven, but a two million eight, a two million eight, do you want to round it up? Three million, three million he said, three million is got, 3.1, 3.1 is what he said. Have a little think if you like, I sell him at 3.1 million, all done at 3 million one last time. Anthony Stroud, Bloodstock, thank you very much indeed. The very, very best of luck with him. And Matt, he's obviously a huge horse as well, looking at him. Had he, had he always been a standout for you on the farm? Good foal all along, very correct. Very, very easy to do anything with, very easy. Never got a bang, scratch, mind-boggling. Great team effort at home with all our crew and 
Sarah and Stuart here, Matty at home. I mean, it's a huge team effort. We don't have a huge number of mirrors, but we try and have a few good ones. Lot 326, a colt out of a full sister to the Coolmore-owned fame and glory, was another to quickly rattle up to the £2 million mark. Two million bid up on top. Two million, two one, he says. Two one, a two million one, and I sell him down below. Two million three, baby steps, men. A two million three, two million three, I'd like to give you all the time, lads. A two million three, what about you left-handed as well? A two million three, are we gone right-handed, sir? Done up on top, gentlemen. A two million three, I've got to sell this time. And done outside on the door, I sell way outside. Good try at two million three. Anthony Stroud, sir, thank you very much indeed. The coke came up on, on Friday, and I didn't come up until um, uh, uh, Monday, and people immediately came up to me and said, this is a, you've got a wonderful coat here. Well, you know, when we, it's our only coat, yelling coat at home, so it's quite difficult to compare him with any others. I thought he was wonderful, but he was one of one. When people come up to me here and look, have looked at 500 uh, yearlings in this book, um, then it really means something when they say you've got a very nice yearling on your hands. The highest priced filly of the sale was lot 525, very much a collector's item, as she is by Galileo and out of the American Group 2 winner, Quiet Oasis. Two million is the bid now, at two million is what I have all the way on now. At two million guineas, she sells way on the stairs all the way on now. At two million, two million is what I have, million one, two million one. Two million one, two million one bid. Two million one against you on the stairs, sir, all the way you're now. At, at two million one hundred thousand, the beautiful Galileo, all done right handed. At two million one hundred thousand, the hammer's up. Thank you very much on the stairs. I sell out in the gate this time around then. At two million one hundred thousand guineas a seller. This time, last call and sold, you know. At two million one hundred thousand guineas, all done and sold at two million one. MV Magna, thank you very much indeed, sir. Well, we always felt that she was the best individual of a filly in the sale. Um, from, from the get-go. I saw her a couple of times in the summer and she got better all the time. Uh, I actually bought the mare from Breeding Capital when Brian Meehan trained her and uh, she raced for clients of mine called Paul and Zilla Redham. So I obviously had a soft spot for the family. And tell us a little bit about, about the Westerberg involvement and been investing obviously throughout the course of the three days. Well yeah, it's, a, it's very much in its incubation period and uh, we hope to find one or two foundation mares out of what we've done this week. But uh, you never know in this business. Those were the top four lots from the three-day sale, with the theme throughout being the continuous rivalry in the sales ring between Coolmore and Godolphin, with Godolphin coming out on top more often than not this time. They topped the purchaser's table buying 19 yearlings for a total of 17.5 million guineas. In contrast, Coolmore purchased five lots for a total of 4.8 million guineas, Another of racing superpower owners, Sheikh Hamdan Shadwell Estates Operation, split the two in the purchaser's table, buying 19 yearlings, the most they have purchased since 2010. Of the sires in demand, no surprise to see Dubawi top the table, with 23 of his offspring offered, selling for an average of just over half a million. Kingman, the breakthrough sire into the top flight in recent times, continues to attract the attention of most, 29 lots offered for a total of just over 11 million guineas. And Galileo still tops the table in terms of averages, with 15 lots offered for an average price of just over 600,000 guineas. Overall, the statistics were down a fraction on 2018. The average price of a yearling was down to 258,000 guineas. But the general vibe of the sale seemed positive, and as ever, if the product was right, on page and in person, then the buyers were happy to go all the way.